where I long to be. Every time and any day, His presence is heaven to me. Thank you, Lord. I call Him Yahweh. With you there's no comparison To stand alone as God You are Yahweh King of kings you are No other God can stand You reign as king over all You are Yahweh
My name is Dickness Esther Orobi, and I have with me in the house a daughter of Zion. Royal Sharon. Royal Sharon. And we are here to unveil the secret of, of praise. praise to you. Remember, when the Lord says yes to your life, nobody can say no. no. What did you say, Royal Sharon? When the Lord tell says yes in your life, nobody can say when no. When you say yes. Yeah. I mean, why he has? Yes. Because there's somebody in your life that holds the final say. Right. His name is Jesus. Jesus Christ. The name above all names. Mm -hmm. The lily of the valley. Says Jesus. Name above all names. Beautiful Savior. Glorious God. Emmanuel. God is with us, blessed Redeemer, living world. Yes, the name above all names is the, is the name above all names, is yes. the blessed Redeemer, is the living world. It's the one that can say, what's your life? Mm. And nobody dares change it. Nobody. And that is the reason why I have in the house with me, my father in the Lord today, <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to bring him at the right time. Mm -hmm. But let me say to you first, Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to everyone. To everyone born in the United States, all over the world, wherever mm -hmm. you are. Happy Memorial Day. Thanks for joining us. It's still the same program yeah. where we unveil the secret of praise. And we have in the house with us, our Father in the Lord, all the way from World Prayer Ministry. Know what that means. So that's the reason why I tell you that what the Lord has said to your life, nobody can change it. I have a prophet in the house. I have yes. a pastor in the house. Yes. I have a pastor, Pastor Joshua. I'm that. I'm going to bring that in, but I will take a few short break. Right. Then I will bring him back. Be ready to receive your miracle today because mercy will locate you. Amen. And favor will find you. Amen. And you will have testimony. Amen. And you too, you have a good memory. Amen. Because today is what? Memorial Day. God bless you. Stay tuned. Don't go away. Yeah. Remember, when he says yes to you, who dare says no? God bless you. Don't go away. Yeah. There is just something about the presence of God. That's where I long to be. Every time and any day, His presence is heaven. Thank you, Lord. I call him Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. You alone are God. With you there's no comparison. You stand alone as God. You are Yahweh. King of kings you are. No other God can stand.
shows me that I have a living God. Hallelujah. Yes, his name is Yahweh. Yeah. Welcome back to Secret of Praise. I remain your daughter, Dickness Esther, and I have in the house my father in the Lord. Hallelujah. We are so happy. We book an appointment with him. He said, no problem. I'm going to be here. And welcome in the house, Pastor Joshua Hamza. Woo! Bless you. Oh, thank you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. A lot of people have been waiting to hear from you for long. We want you to introduce yourself. Amen. My name is uh, Pastor Joshua Amzat, uh, the senior pastor of World Prayer Ministry in the city of Houston, Texas. Oh, yes. And uh, I'm married to Pastor Jane Amzat. Amen. Uh, she's a very good um, Awesome woman of God. Oh, uh, yes. We just listened to our, one of our clip of our. Exactly. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thank you for your yeah. Yes, you know, you can say, Rish, and I'm really right. Mm -hmm. to, to really make that it feel the power of Holy Ghost, I, I just brought that. Oh. oh God so bless my producer. Praise the Lord. You know, Pastor Jane Amzat is the wife of our father, Pastor Joshua Amzat. And, you know, a wonderful. Evangelist, I call her evangelist mm -hmm. because she ministered all over the world. Mm -hmm. She ministered the gospel. <laughs> when you want to see a rascal for God, mm -hmm. praising God, oh my god, I got a partner in the house. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, right. And the day I bless the day I met, and God bless you, mommy, mm -hmm. wherever you are. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason I brought that album in so that I know that that is filled with the power of the Holy Ghost already. Mm -hmm. So, ready, viewers, to receive your miracle. God bless mm -hmm. you. Stay mm -hmm. So, daddy. We are here for you today. Yes, we want you to. Today is Memorial Day. Yes. And we want it to leave a good memory today. Mm. Not just on our program, but even our daily life. Amen. Right. We want a church from God. But our people need to know the secret of praise. Amen. And I know that having you as a father, you can really reveal to them the power of praise. Amen. So, Daddy, the floor is set for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so glad to here this morning, but what we think you need to understand, we live in a busy world where yes. we things are happening and happening so fast, yeah. and it's very, 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 very easy to forget the, mm. sick, the things that God has done for us. Yeah. Many times we look onto what God has done, done and we focus mm. on the things mm. He has done, done. Exactly. and then that sometimes limits our praise yeah. and limits the way we praise because we're focusing on things He has done. done. Are supposed to be focused on what he has done. Okay. We praise God for his faithfulness, mm -hmm. not yes, for sir. what he has not done. Mm -hmm. So, later you begin to have this perception that I have to praise God first before I see something. Mm -hmm. That becomes mm -hmm. your praise will be in that, and your praise will be limited. Exactly. And many of us in life, we were waiting for that big thing, mm -hmm. so called, before mm -hmm. if God do that big thing. But there's a, another kind of praise that does not wait for God's big thing. Oh, praise yeah. God in ten before, amen, before the things happen. In the Bible, we have seven dimensions of praise in the Bible. Mm -hmm. We have the Toda, we have the Allah, amen. amen. We have the Barak, we have the Shama, okay. we have the Zama. All these things are dimensions of praise, but I'm not going to talk on those this, uh, this afternoon, but I want to tell you, those praise are significant, amen. Amen. Because Toda is very important. You praise it because you will at a choice, amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have a choice. So, so it's very important, and that leads to Allah. And those are dimensions of praise. But in our time, we only know the praise with instrument. Mm -hmm. You get me? Mm -hmm. That is um, we only, But praise is deeper than that. It's based on what God has done. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. and then, so that is what you need to know. And we also have the barak. Barak, we often don't get to the part of the barak because it's the place where you get to embrace 
when God began to respond back to you. Okay, Danny, please hold on because I really want to get our viewers to understand yes. this. Yes. You've mentioned two now. Yes. yes. I am learning. Yes. yes. Oh, Spirit, Sharon, you're on point. Right. Yes. You mentioned the Allah. Yeah. And yeah. the Toba, Toda, and and the 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 Toda, the Toda, the Zalab, the Halab, the Zbara, the Zbara, the Teila, the Teila, the Teila. I know, I know about the Teila. Yes, but you know, you can see. I told you when you bring a prophet of God into the house, he begins to reveal some things to you. There is Allah, there is Toda, yes. There's Bara, yeah, and there's Tehila, making for there's Shama, there's Shama. Shama Prince. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be talking to us. Okay, let me let's talk about it a bit. Amen? All right, sir. So we know what is going on. Yes, so sir. there's Tehila. But I want us to know something this morning because it's very important for us to understand how praise goes. Okay. Praise are a sequence. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. They're yes, a sequence. The, we, the Toda is where you, you is a verb and you just make, you just, you decide to praise him. Hmm. Toda. Oh, Amen. 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 Verbal thanksgiving for what God has done. Yes. To that. That does not involve the one we do in church. Mm. Mm. Again, that does yes. not involve yes. the one we do in church. Mm. The one we do in church is called Zama. Zama. Zama, because it goes with instrument. Mm. Are you mm. getting it? Yes, sir. And that is not even the level of praise. So from we from to that, we, we get to from to that when we choose to to praise God. Mm. Okay. That that leads to Yada. Are okay. You Okay. Even into Yada. Yada is where it come is when you now begin to express yourself in adoration. In adoration. About the, in adoration about, yes. Yeah, then, yeah. And and then you begin to thank him. Are you getting me? Yeah. And then that takes you to Allah. Mm. H A L A I. Allah. Amen. H A L A I. Yeah. Allah. So, uh, Allah. Yeah. Amen. Allah. So you are adoring him, honoring him. Mm. As you follow him, are you getting yes. me? Yes. And then that now gets you to the room we do in church called Zama. Zama. Wow. That is when you now begin to. That's that the, the, the kind of church praise. Yeah, yes. yes. Okay. Then that now lead to Zama. That you now begin to uh, begin to sing to him. I sing praises to mm, him. Hallelujah. And you begin to now be, begin to praise him. And then then that takes us to the one we call Barak. Barak. Okay. I know. I know. Is a Barak is a place where you get to a point of minister to God in praise, and He began to now speak back to you. Hallelujah. You know, we don't get that, that to that mm. place in, in mm. church because mm. we are, it's about 30 minutes. Yeah, later. and we want to do we everything. Do everything. So because but we it's have a place a where you are pra yeah, praise God to a standard. You now begin to come back to Hallelujah. Him. You now begin to now express what He wants to do, reveal mm. to you. In, in, in words, yeah. as people are worshiping him and praising him and crying on that street, they now begin to talk back to us. Mm. Are, are, you, are you getting that? Yeah. That's, that's, that's Barak. That's Barak. Yeah, Barak. Barak. Yeah. So that B A, we talk Barak Obama, Barak. I mean, yeah, Barak. B A R A K. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. God, God now begin to, then that is a sequence. I, I, I know I've mentioned five, but the other two is Taylor. That's what I want. I want to hear Taylor is a spontaneous prince. Hallelujah. Mm. I love him. Uh, Hallelujah. Love the, the, yeah, it's just spontaneous praise. Yes, There's no worship. We just come together and begin to pray. Amen. And begin to praise him. Amen. It's spontaneous. It's just what, what you would say. Let's, do, look, let's come for Tehillah tonight. Oh. It's, it's a spontaneous oh. one. Hallelujah. Where everything is what? Spontaneous. Hallelujah. We just begin to. Now we can be here now and begin to uh, praise and we begin to boast and to praise. Mm. It's called Tehillah. That's Tehillah. That's what they call Tehillah. Yeah, a lot of churches do uh, that. Tehillah. Yes. That yes. No reality. Yeah, nothing. no uh, continuous we just, praise. We just continue. yes. So that is what we saw. Those are the dimension of praise. We are understanding this thing. I mean, in Psalm 47, Bible yes, says, uh, say, praise God with understanding. There's mm. a place you have to praise God with understanding. Understanding. So you are the God. So in Psalm 22, Pastor you said, you are the God of, you know, God of Israel. You okay. inhabit the praise of Israel. God right. what inhabit what praise. praise. What is about God? He lives in praise. Uh -huh. In in habit, he lives in it. Yeah. In praise. That's mm -hmm. what, what praise is very important. In habit, he lives in it. He lives in the praise. praise. Oh, praise. Yeah. So you must understand that one of the things God God loves. That's what the Bible called David, man after God's heart, because David was a praiser. Mm. You know, he was a worshiper and a prayer. You can't praise God with you can't worship God without with praising praise Him. Mm. Yeah, and, and you must understand uh, that now what we call praise and worship is not really what the real. Yeah, yeah. There's, more, there's more to praise uh. than what we call praise. Hallelujah. If, if you and I Amen. Call, talk about praise, now we say, "Oh, I sing." Maybe praise God is good. Yeah. No, praise is about uh, about talk, I mean, deciding to adore God. Mm. Talk to him about favorably. So, Daddy, I would like to spell that out to our viewers. Yeah. Praise is about 
Adoring God. Adoring God. God. Favor, talking about him favor, favorably. Yeah. Glorifying somebody. Glorifying him like Helen. Commending right. somebody. Commending. Yeah. 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 Commending somebody. He's, that's what praise, praise is all about. It's about mm -hmm. talking, I mean, glorifying him, commending, making okay. somebody big. Amen. Okay. That's okay. what praise him. When you praise him, he raises you up. He mm -hmm. raises you up. Yeah. yeah. When you get to. So, I mean, if you look at the life of, let me talk about the life of somebody in the Bible. Okay. There was a man in the Bible. His name was um, Jacob. Jacob had two wives. Mm -hmm. He had two wives, huh? and there's something happened to one of the wives. One was less love, and one was, one was more love. The one that was less love was called Leah, mm -hmm. and the other one was called Rachel. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to understand something about this two. There's something Rachel, had, uh, Leah had three kids, three mm -hmm. children. Amen. Yeah, now, the man. first one was Reuben. Mm -hmm. Reuben means that God has, has turned my misery around. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and the other one is Simeon. Simeon. Amen. God had deal with me favorably. Oh, now the third yeah. one was Judah. Mm. Judah means praise. Are you getting it? Yeah. Okay. Praise. praise. Are you getting it? So when she was going to, she was not love. She was in the in the house of in the in the husband's house. She she gave the first child God um, Reuben. Okay. God told my misery around. Second one Simeon. I'm not I'm loved. Now mm. my husband will love me. The mm. third one now in, until they now change the name to Judah. Are you getting me? Mm. Then things begin to happen. Judah was the person that God chose. Mm. Are you getting me? Mm. Where decide God decide to live. Are you getting mm. me? So when even though so she decided to name the torture Judah, Judah, mm. and something changed because okay. because in Judah was what what praise God praise God. Are you getting Hallelujah. me? Hallelujah. Anytime God also when she changed the name, I get mm. Judah. Something happened to Leah, mm. and then that was when God now decided to. Are you getting me? Because mm. so anytime you're going through something. Decide to praise God. Hallelujah. That was what Leah decided to do. She decided, decided to, praise, to praise, God. God. praise God by giving that name Judah. I praising God for what Judah. And that was when God even chose what? Judah. Judah became okay. the place of God's habitation. Okay. Amen. 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 He chose not to live with Joseph, even though Joseph was his scepter. He was a, a Joseph was his scepter. You get it? Mm. But Judah was what? Where he chose to want to live, are you getting it? So you must hold that the praise is a very Alleluia. powerful thing. Yeah. So we, that's why we must understand the dimension of praise. Right. I right. God bless you, sir. Uh, I believe our viewers are enjoying this. Right. Even me myself, I'm enjoying Same it. Same here. We have Allah, we have Yada, we have Barak, we have uh, Toda, we have Tehila, we have Zama. Zama is the one we frequently do in the church. Instrument, yeah. Instrument. Yeah. Then the Taila, you know, we worship as we Just like that. Day, yeah. Yeah, it's continuous yes. and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. continuous uh, praise. Worshiping God, yeah. But, Dad, I want you to go deep in the bara because people need it. Yes. Mm. This is the secret of praise program where we are trying to unveil the secret, in, not even of praise, in praise. Mm. Right. And uh, for people to know, at this end time, that's what we need. That's, that's right. true. Right. Because at times now you pray and you look at it that is God not talking? Yes. It's only in praise. It will tell you, I'm not silent. Mm. You might be praying and it will just keep quiet. He's mm. walking, but you think mm. in your own side God is quiet. Mm. But it's too silent on this part. Mm. But David in the Bible will go deep and praise him, even when he has committed a lot of things. Mm. But to hear the point that is this still mm. angry with me? Mm. Is there any solution to what I have done? Mm. It will praise him to a point until he hears the voice of God. Mm. For me, that's the, the, the part in my life that I don't joke with. The barrage. I, yes, I praise in church. Yes, I, but I, one of, when I praise and God talks about that's when I know I praise God. Mm. Right. Right. So the barrack is, uh, is very important because is a place of it. I want to call it a place of intercession Amen. where you get to a point where you now wait on Him. Yes, sir. Mm. You don't get to that place like that. Mm. You don't get to, you don't, we don't often get to Barak mm. like that. Yeah. In fact, in church, forget it, we don't get it at all. Church, at unless all. We, unless we call some garden of um, mature believers. Believers, yeah, mm -hmm. to a point that yes. And they are all praisers. Uh -huh. They are all Levites. And yeah. they don't look at the and, time and that yes, we're they going. Under, yeah, they understand the dimension of praise. Yeah. They understand that you wait on the king. The mm. king does not wait on you. Yes. Hallelujah. You wait on the king. Yes. The Speaking. king does not wait on you. It doesn't him. wait for you. And it that, doesn't wait on you. That is one yeah. of the reason why we don't seek God's glory anymore. Because, you see, the concept of the kingdom of God is only the concept of uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, democracy. 
mm-hmm. is where is the kingdom of God is where God uh, uh, a king has an influence in a place. Hallelujah. It's a God is a sovereign government mm-hmm. where a territory where a king has an influence through laws and culture and rules. Amen. You know? That's Amen. what the kingdom of God means. Mm-hmm. So if you understand the concept of the kingdom mm-hmm. of God, you understand how God operates. Mm-hmm. Because we live in a system of democracy, so it does not allow us to understand. What God's that that even him. God is even different from man. Yes. Right. So that's you know. why we don't understand the value of a kingdom. A kingdom is a kingdom of God is a sphere or territory where a king has his influence, a territory. Mm-hmm. So and the people that they, 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 they put the culture, I mean, the uh, call it colonization in the kingdom. Mm-hmm. That means you begin to express your kingdom, your laws, and your values to a mm-hmm. system of people. Mm-hmm. And then that's what British people call colonization. But in the kingdom of God, and you get it, it's like God bringing his value system to us. Yeah. And then his laws to us, his laws, his kingdom value. Mm-hmm. And that is where you know you now wait on the king. When the mm-hmm. king, that's why that's why we, that's why we don't get there mm-hmm. when we when we come to church. Because mm-hmm. we're looking at time. But the king is the king. That's why we never get to the point of Barak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Barak is a is a revelational part where the the prophetic begin to come out because you begin to hear from him. Exactly. You don't get a, the prophetic dimension of God begin to come out in the barrack. That's when you see yeah. uh, uh, you see children now prophesying at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting me? Yeah. Now begin to now sing and sometimes God is now talking to them. Exactly. Now, if, if you look at most of the spiritual exactly. churches, um, spiritual churches in the um, the uh, the Sarah, uh, Kerubim, Seraphim, mm. uh, in those days, that's not, uh, I was born in Muslim, but the okay. us, they understand something about this because at that point when they get to the dimension of that praise. They yeah. begin to now begin to see people now prophesying mm. because they get to that point of level. You can't get to that point without prophesying. Mm. Yeah. You now begin to see young children coming out with, with the word, with prophecy. Exactly. Young children, that yeah. you're right. Yeah. That's where I'm going to. Yeah, what I said, it's a dimension let us get expand to, shared it's, on the barrack. Yeah, it's, mm. it's the dimension we get to that now. The Spirit of Lord begin now speak to the heart of people, to the Yeah, barrack. directly. Now you see directly. now coming out with. Oh, oh my uh, God! This and that. that oh uh, my God! Vision, that oh is my God! Part, and we don't get there because of time. Oh my God! We thank God. In, oh God! In, in, in days yeah. Of, amen. That He God bless you. Amen. I'm I'm so happy you are a pastor. Amen. Right. I'm so happy not just one church. Yeah. <laughs> you are the general vessel for world prayer ministry all over the world, oh, and. I know you even extend your hands to Africa and Nigeria yes. to do what crusade. Yes. You go for crusade and everything. Yes. But I want to ask a question, sir. Now that we thank God before we do anything, and uh, churches will believe, okay, 15 minutes for this, 15 minutes for worship, this and that. And we're like, because of the world we are into now, is there nothing we can do? Can't we have some worshippers? Like, uh, I visited one of my fathers and the Lord some years back. Uh, uh, Ikene. Is it Ikene? Yes, Ikene. Ikene Remo. Mm. Uh, my, my father in the Lord, uh, Pastor Obuibe. And early in the morning, you know, we came in for a weekend and we were like, okay, we'll worship Bwali on Sunday before we go back to Lagos. As early as somewhere here, worshippers in the church. Mm. Just worshipping. And you know, as a as a as a child of God, in my room while I was dressing, I told my husband that that is the main part of the service. Mm. Uh, but you no, know, and Daddy was telling us that no, that they, we've not started service, but the worshiper has to worship first. Mm. The service starts by now. Mm. But someone in him, the apostle church again, I saw them worshiping. Mm. You know, and I was like, the Lord showed me a lot of things that did that. If they do that, do you not think they will start their service? Mm. And they won't hear my voice. Mm. Because the whole environment is refreshed already. Mm. With the fragrance of worship. Mm. Right. Like, like one of our ministers said, my worship is my weapon. Mm. Yes, this is how we make fire. You know, and I got told, I wanted to ask Daddy that question. I know he might be watching us now that. Why? Did you do, is it because you're a worshiper yourself? Because he's a, he's a, he's a musician, mm-hmm. so you know, right. that, you know, is that the reason why that gave God gave him that secret? Mm-hmm. Two, daddy, I ministered in your church last year, mm-hmm. <laughs> not because I see you, but the equipment in that church, mm-hmm. the worshippers there, 
thank God for uh, my mother in the Lord, Pastor Jane. I'm right. And you, because I know people call you a pastor, but I call you a prophet because I know who you are. Mm. Mm. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm like, that's how God has shown you something. And that's the reason why that church is different. Right. Can you just explain or advise right. all the churches? Because there is this secret in that praise, mm -hmm. especially the Barak praise. There's no how we want to run away from no, it. No. Because a lot of churches are now missing a lot. Mm -hmm. There's no touch with God but the words of wisdom from the pastor. That's all what people want to go mm -hmm. here. And they go about their normal life. Mm -hmm. And now they come back to the pastor that you said, God will do this. Mm -hmm. Did you understand? Mm -hmm. And I won't say it. And at times, some blame the pastor. A lot of people change churches from one church to another. You understand that this one miracle is not working here. Mm. I just want you to advise. Okay, this is what I, because I came from a Muslim background. I was I was born a Muslim, right. and I grew up as a Muslim. And I became mm. born again along the way, mm. and that is why um, for me Christianity is, uh, I wasn't a church boy. Mm. I wasn't mm. a church boy, deep. so That's I was deep. not um, I was not uh, uh, boxed into the rigid. And the technicality and technicality of of church, yeah. I say. So the direct, but one of the things I want to understand for us, if the church is to be what God wants it to be, mm -hmm. and if you want to begin to ex experience God in yeah. our in our services, yeah. um, the church is not a building. It's mm -hmm. people. We are the church. Yeah, yeah. we are here now. We are no doubt the church is here now. Yeah. Yeah. So we can go to any plaza. To worship. To worship. Right. Are you getting me? Yes. Because we yes. are stones, living stones. Yes. Right. Now, but what I'm trying to see now is that um, for us to begin to see some dimension of God that we need to see is that we see things need to be changed. I would say this. Things need to change for a point. If you look at the Old Testament, the, the, um, the priest, the Levite, the priest, mm -hmm. um, they, they, they have the priest, they have the Levite. Are you getting me? Yes, and, and they are all, the, the priest, Operate. Mm. There are some of them. We have the worshiper among them. We have the one that do the temple service. Are you getting me? Yeah. But there's something you must understand. For the church of this last day to get to a point that we experience God, mm. is that we need to understand that people that will bear the vessel of praise must first be sanctified. Exactly. But they was be sanctified. Not because of skills. Not mm -hmm. because of. You are talented. Mm. You must understand. Uh -huh. you, you must be able to discern the Holy Spirit, the, the move of the Spirit. Exactly. You must also know that it's not by the technicality. It's good to prepare. Mm. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I will take it from preparation. But also you must understand that the person, I was telling them two weeks ago, I said, can you get to a point to a church that even when the keyboard is playing, mm. miracles are happening. Uh, oh because God. because, yeah. because uh -oh. you, before you came uh -huh. in, you already fasting and praying. Yeah, for you to just look it exactly. Up. You to get to Not just coming from you, anywhere, you, just you, hands you, on you the drum keyboard. Man. When you are drumming, something is happening because before you start drumming, you are fasting overnight. Yes, yeah, it's and connects you, with God. You are coming mm. in, the, in, the, in the manner that I'm coming to worship or praise exactly. a king. Exactly. Mm. A king in oh, the kingdom. Father. And then now you give, when we, begin, when we begin to do that as a praiser, you're not coming to praise God because a pastor said, Come and you give should come. Uh, yeah. So you are coming to praise God because you know it's your reasonable, reasonable service to, do. to, to God. Give to God. Yes. It's your reasonable service. Then our perception about praising God will be different. And then from then you can have understanding of what you are trying to do because mm. uh, if, if, if I'm giving 20 minutes to praise God, that's the way you can praise God with your heart and, and yes. your spirit. We shall that within 10 bring, minutes. That yeah. bring God, oh, that yeah. bring God down. Right. Also, oh, yes. if those that if we can give attention to the vessel that carry the priest, Hallelujah. the vessel, and um, praise him in spirit in and in truth. Uh, I want to use the word praise him in spirit and in truth, mm -hmm. and understanding that um, that there's uh, I have a role as a praise leader or a praise somebody mm -hmm. that my dimension is to bring God down, mm -hmm. yeah. to bring him down. Uh, yes, and, then, and he's always there for us. And, and then when God is down, when God is down, as a matter of fact. Uh, the praise, the praise, as the prayer is going on. Yes, sir. A, a spiritual church knows that as it's praying, it should be praising God. Hallelujah. As the word is going on, in the middle of the word, right, you yeah. could even put a praise. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, are you yeah, getting yeah. me? Yes. So church should not be a timetable that um, 
Oh, we have to be 20 minutes service. Mm. Uh, 10 minutes mm. service. In the midst mm. of the world, you can also just worship. Just yeah. Worship. And then, yeah. But these yeah. are things we need to get people to, to understand. Yeah. And when people get to that understanding that without praise, there's some dimension you cannot what, mm. get to. Let me give you an example. When you praise God, listen to this. When you yeah. praise God, um, God comes down. When you pray, I know you've heard it before. When you pray, angels are released. Mm. When you praise God, God's God comes down. Yeah. You must understand. Um, when that's when you understand when you pray, angels, angels can release. Mm. But when, when you, pray, when you God, praise God, God, God comes. Oh, so, hallelujah! So, so God come God, you know, you know, And there's something you must understand in now. Uh, of uh, First Chronicles 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay. When the children of Judah, when the five nations came together to fight against Judah, Amen. Amen. Israel, Israel, yeah, Judah, and they didn't know what to do. King Jehoshaphat now called the priest. And the priest said about to, this time tomorrow, they will seek God. By this time and tomorrow. tomorrow. Hallelujah. And, and this were now, this is what I wanted to know. And they didn't know what to do. The first thing was if they sacrificed. They, sac they did a sacrifice, right? Mm -hmm. But the second thing they did was to gather priests, people to praise. Mm -hmm. Now, so I got to the point that praise is what you do, but you don't know what to, well, you don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. They got to a point. When they do, where praise is what you do when you don't know what to do. Uh, I, I, I want to appreciate that. that oh, yeah. so, the, so, so they got they got to a point they didn't know what to do. Mm. So Joseph had got the sacrifice of uh, um, uh, a lamb, a, a bull, first, and the next thing they call people priests to come or deliver to come and praise, yeah. and then God now ambushed the enemy. Mm. So I want to tell people that if you don't know what to do, praise is yeah. what you do yeah. when you don't when know you what don't know do. what to do. Mm. Are you getting me? Yeah. So when they didn't know what to do. Praise what the weapon they yeah. use. So I tell, I say this: praise is what you do you, when, when you, you don't, don't know, know what, what to do. do. Are you getting me? Hallelujah! When, when you are confused, to do. Do. when you don't know what to do, exactly. so they were confused. So they had to use the weapon of praise, mm. and praise gave them victory. Mm. Praise raised them up. So you yes. must understand: praise is what you need to do. When well, you don't, don't know, what, know to do. what to do. I believe you hear that all the viewers. Mm. Praise is what, what you do, do when you don't, when you don't, don't know, know what, what to do. do. And when you praise God, the Lord elevates you. Yeah. Mm. It comes down. It comes down himself. himself. Yeah, it, mm. it comes not, down. not just the angels. No, when you pray, but God himself comes down, yes. comes down to receive your praise, yeah. to touch your life, yeah. to favor you, Amen. to give you grace when you need it. Yeah. To just make sure your life is not empty. Right. And to speak to you so that you know the right thing to do at the right time. Because right? a lot of people, you said, my people pray, eh? but not even to the point of their prayer. Some are praying another person's point of prayer. I won't mm. lie to you. Mm. Because the prayer you're supposed to pray in May is different from the one in June. Mm -hmm. Right. But because somebody said that some, uh, my friend is using Lincoln, mm -hmm. let me pray, Father, give me Lincoln. He did not ask God, what is an, 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 an line for me now? What's the next thing on line for me that I need to pray about? Because mm. I think that's a lot of a lot of uh, believers will make that mistake. Mm. That, you know, everybody, some are just, you know, walking on another person's shadow. Mm. And they are praying, fasting, coming to church. Mm. In short, they want, they want heaven to fall immediately. Mm. But when you praise God, even reveal yourself to you. Yes. Mm. Everything left online for you. So you don't just jump because mm -hmm. life itself, I call it a stair. Mm -hmm. You're climbing the step. Mm -hmm. It's when you press God to a point, point, it might not allow you to climb the next step and move you to mm -hmm. a greater mm -hmm. level. I just want you as a believer, as unbeliever, mm -hmm. as a worshiper, wherever you're worshiping me from, I believe you've listened to her father. I, I, I picked that point even myself. So praise is what you do when you don't know what to do. When all hope has come, there's still something you can do. When you think the battle is over, oh, when you think you can't win this battle, try praise. Like what daddy said, the barra praise for me, I don't joke with it. Because in this world, we are all blind. The only way you can see clearly is when you go to God and pray. And that's the reason why in all the kings in the Bible, David is different. Yes, King Solomon asked for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But somebody didn't ask for anything down to pray his maker. Mm -hmm. And he got beyond. Yeah. 
So I will tell you, prison. Daddy, thank you so, so, oh, so really much. Really thank thank you, you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. But we will leave you to go today without, you know, releasing a word of prayer. Yeah. Not even a word. Amen. Yes. To us, to our viewers, because they've been waiting for you, you know that, yes. Yeah. I told, I, you didn't tell me that. But I told uh, my daughter, the first day we came to your church in 2016, yeah. what prayer ministry, said, that is not a pastor, he's a prophet. Mm-hmm. You know. And uh, he said, by their fruit, we shall know them. Mm-hmm. So I just want you to sit back as a viewer right now. If you believe in God, if you believe in the word of prophecy, mm-hmm. if you believe that, if you praise your maker in your home today or wherever you are watching me, mm-hmm. it will silence your mind. Let's close our hands for prayer as Father will listen to our life. Mm-hmm. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I want us to stretch your hand towards this camera. If you're watching from Facebook, whatever it is, mm-hmm. I don't know the platform we are in. I want you to stretch your hand because by faith, you understand. Mm-hmm. This, when we raise the anointing, it's going to move into your life right now. Mm-hmm. And there will be dimension of release of God's grace mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. I want to pray right now. I decree over the one watching it. I decree by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the anointing break every yoke in the name of Jesus. Amen. We command the power of God to break every shackles in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, for those who are watching me that are going through satanic affliction. By the hand of God, we break that yoke in the name of Jesus. Amen. We break it in the name of Jesus. Amen. We break the shackles of the enemy. Amen. Over your destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I come against every demonic influence. Yes, Lord. Over your family. Amen. Over your home. Amen. Every shackles. Amen. We break the shackles Amen. now. We break the shackles Amen. now. We break the shackles Amen. now. Amen. I decree over you watching me. Receive, Jesus. receive your healing. Amen. Receive your breakthrough. Amen. Receive Receive your victory. Amen. Receive your favor. Amen. Let every door that be shut be open. Amen. I command every mountain to be moved. Amen. Right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every arrow found against you. Amen. I command your arrow out. Amen. Amen. Out. Amen. Of your body now. Amen. I decree over you right in now. The name of Every Jesus. coffin of death, let it break right now. Amen. 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 Let it break right Amen. now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. There's a sister watching me. Your name is Bola. Hallelujah. I don't know whether it's Bola Lee or Bola, but Bola is in your name. Mm. Now I want to pray for you right now. Hallelujah. Restoration is coming upon you right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bola, Bola. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. it's coming upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I pray for Shay right now. Amen. I release Amen. grace upon them. Amen. I release Amen. grace upon you right Amen. now. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. There's somebody you are watching me. You are believing Amen. God this Amen. before this end of the month. Yes, Lord. For a new thing, a new thing, like Amen. job or something. Amen. Or release it now. Receive it now. Release it now. Amen. Release that grace in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There's somebody you are watching all right. Every time you wake up, Amen. is that a, it's like you have always wake up with a migraine. Oh, it's over today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Christ. It's over today right now. Amen. There's somebody watching us right now. You have a pain, a chronic pain in your leg. And as I'm praying right now, let that pain go right now. Amen. Let it release you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Let that pain release you right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Christ. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Christ. That pain is gone right now. Amen. That pain is gone right now. Amen. That pain, that pain is gone. Thank in you. the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Master. Yeah, thank you, Lion of Lord, we give a praise. Hallelujah. We give a praise right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. We give a praise. Right Hallelujah. We give a praise. Hallelujah. Every heart condition right now is gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone right now. Amen. It's gone right now. Amen. Somebody's Jesus. you. Let me pray for somebody. Somebody is sick. You have a, you add. Amen. You add the news that somebody is sick. Mm. This person is close to you. Mm. He's sick. And they told you either last weekend, very recently, like in a place, either a mother or somebody mm. is sick. Right now, I pray right now, it will not lead to death in Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Father. Lord, we bless you. We bless you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I told you that when Jesus said yes to your life, yes. nobody can say no. Amen. This is our father from Rock Prayer Ministry. Daddy, I just want you to tell a lot of people the address of the church, uh, church that how they can reach you because I know you have a program uh, every Sunday. Am I right? Yes. By yes. 6 o'clock on, on, on Facebook? Uh, you mean on Sundays? Yes. Yes. You used to have a special, aside from the church, what okay, I do you have an well, online on, program? I have on Tuesday, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Pastor okay. Jen has one on 6 to 7. Okay. 6 to 7, every Sunday evening. And every Sunday evening, moment, uh, moment, moment of MOR. MOR. Okay. And every tomorrow by 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., I will have my apostolic prayer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so you can it, turn into uh, a it, father. You can check on Facebook, Joshua Anza. Yes. Uh, every Tuesday by 8, to 8 p.m. It's an apostolic prayer. It's an apostolic prayer. Yes. So then, uh, can, can you tell us that, uh, the address of the church? We are located at uh, 12731 Bissonnet Street. By the Riyadh, between the Riyadh. Fraud and uh, Bissonnet. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. By the corner of the photo image. Amen. Yes. So that's where we are. And God is blessing us. God is doing the awesome thing. Yes. Amen. Praise Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And... Uh, for people in Nigeria, uh, I know that it will still come. Don't worry. Okay. We'll come and uh, we'll let you know when it's coming to Nigeria for the crusade. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank yes, so much. Mrs. Fola Shade Faloko. We wish you happy birthday, sis. That's birthday. my blood sister. Happy birthday. God bless you. We love you. We From love Do you. Just FM Radio, we love you. Yeah. The house of Daniel, you know, I love you. Cannot be less. You. We love every day. Yeah. And from what prayer ministry, Pastor is saying, we love you. God bless you. you. Thank you so much. Daddy, you know, there's something so unique about your family. Amen. Your, your wife is from uh, Eastern Parts. Yes. Yeah, but I don't know who teach in America. She she learned Yoruba. <laughs> right. That's why I love this track from her album, which I'm a producer. Play search, 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 and look for it. Okwemi. Okay. You know, you know. I, I look at it. I say, Oh God, that you've done a lot to my sister. Amen. For for her to be able to sing it out, she sing, she dance. I was like, Oh my God. Amen. And that is the song we're gonna dance now. But before that, we we'll go on commercial break, and Daddy is gonna get ready Amen. with his shoe to dance. Amen. Don't worry, you will see Prophet dancing, Amen. so that you can do your own praise in your house. Too. So stay tuned. Don't go away. We're gonna dance. God bless, God bless you. <laughs> Jesus, raise your hand and shout.
to Jane Amzat, you will see a lot of inspirational stuff. Right. We're still bringing Pastor Jane in the house. We're still going to bring her. Right. Okay, don't worry. Between June and July, we're going to work it out. Mm -hmm. Because you need to see my twin sister in Houston. Oh. That made me to know that I'm not rascal at all. <laughs> End of the year. I'll, I'll go partner. Hallelujah. So God bless you, Daddy. Today is Memorial Day. Yes. And before you go, a lot of things are going on in the world, Daddy. A word to the United States. A prayer mm -hmm. from you to God. United States and to those people watching us in our country to Nigeria. Let over the nation of America, Hallelujah. Lord, we decree over this nation that in this season we command COVID 19, your hand has come over the nation. Yes, Lord. We decree the end of this COVID 19. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We decree the end of COVID 19 has come. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, we ask that you preserve the nation. Oh, yes, Amen. Father. You preserve the nation. Amen. The hand has come to yes, COVID-19. Yes, Lord. We declare the hand has come. Amen. Amen. And Lord, we declare your blessings over this nation yes, in Lord. this Lord Memorial Day. In the mighty. Preserve the nation. Amen. Build the walls around the nation. Amen. We give a praise and glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for coming, Daddy. We really appreciate you. Amen. My producer, I'm going to go back to Mukwem Mup as I sign Daddy out. Thank you. We'll remain your loyal daughter in the van. My name still remains. Dickness Esther Orobi or Mobile You know, you don't imagine mommy. If you leave me with Daddy, Daddy can beat me. I go back. Even Rea Sharon. Yes. Daddy, I don't know. This is our God. <laughs> so we're signing out and we're saying, stay tuned, remain blessed. Yes. Try your Barra praise. Try your Tada praise. Amen. Try your Yada praise. Yes. Try your Tehila praise. Yes. Ministers of God, fathers in the Lord, Hallelujah. children of God, yes. charge yourself in praise at this end time mm -hmm. and see that God of yesterday is still God of today. Amen. And it remains God of yesterday. As I sign out, <laughs> I know you know when you pray your maker, <laughs> it's silent your mother. God yes. bless you, your God daughter, bless Royal you. Sharon. God bless God bless you. you. Bye. God bless you. And don't forget, check World Prayer Ministry on Facebook, and you will be blessed. Amen. Bye. God bless you. Bye. Yay. Let's go.
Mo mo b-